Yes. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Sheen Magazine, Sheen Talk Live. I'm your host, the sassy Latina, Jacqueline Valdez. So I'm super <laughs> excited for you ladies to be here today. So we have the wonderful, beautiful, strong, inspiring women at the Leading Ladies of Logistics. And I know we have more that are not with us today, unfortunately. But shout out to you ladies, too. So how's everyone doing today? Great. How are you? I am doing well, just uh, enjoying the beautiful sunny weather. I'm in Florida. Where are you guys at? Vanessa and I are in South Carolina. Nice. And I'm going to be in Florida this weekend. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. You guys have a conference, an event coming up that I'm super excited about. Yeah, but that's not going to be in Florida. Um, and I'm, I'm also in Atlanta, and I literally okay. just left Miami. Okay, okay. Um, I see, yes, Logistics, I see that you requested and it is not letting me add any more people in for some reason. I have all of you guys tagged. Um, I just don't know what is going on. And we even did a test earlier today, um, me and uh, Kristen and Laura, to make sure that we could all four get in. So I do apologize about that. So tell me, ladies, about your journey um, each of you and how it went. Uh, let the viewers know your name, a little bit about yourself, and just your your journey. Okay, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> so, first. so I'm Tawana Randall with Gold Style Logistics Group. I am originally from Miami, Florida, and I am based in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, mm -hmm. So my business is a freight dispatching company, and we uh, arrange freight for several different types of equipment. Um, we have a team of about 18 right now. And, um, you know, I joined the Leading Ladies of Logistics about a year ago um, to just assist on this journey in empowering other women to um, actually do what we're doing. I love that. I love that you guys are empowering other people and really using your voice to grow and to spread knowledge and to kind of just, you know, this domino effect of really just building up other people. Yes, Definitely. absolutely. My name is Tristan. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of Lady Logistics. I'm a freight broker um, as well as a fleet owner. And um, I'm also the founder of the Leading Ladies of Logistics. And like Tawana said, um, based on the history that we all have had in transportation, the failures, the losses, we just want to help women. We want to help them avoid um, a lot of the mistakes we made and help them save money because we absolutely lost a lot. Um, making mistakes. So we're here to help, empower, and educate. Yeah, I love that. And um, I'm Vanessa Gant, the owner of Provision Accounting Solutions, where we serve the transportation and logistics industry. So um, I worked on the corporate side of transportation um, and the finance department and knowing the back office. So we just want to help women get to the point. Like I, like they had personal exp um, experiences on loss in the business, from the, when you start to grow your business from that side of it, I can help you avoid those pitfalls. You know, nice. so that you can always grow and scale your business with no issues and no problems. And that's what we do. We're just here to help women grow. Nice. Yeah. And that's so important because there's so many things that you come across that you don't really realize owning a business and starting a business, it takes a lot of steps and you need to make a lot of mistakes before you kind of get on the right path. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love that you guys help people avoid a lot of those mistakes. Absolutely. We've seen, you know, if, we, if it hadn't happened to us, we've seen it happen. So it's yeah. easier. <laughs> yeah. So how did you guys come up with the name? So I started with the brand Lady Logistics. And Leading Ladies of Logistics was just a play off of that. I wanted to figure out how I could connect with other women. Because when I came into the industry, I did not know any other women. I knew they were there. Um, but, I, you know, when I would book loads for my own truck, I would talk to male brokers. You know, I would talk to um, just men. You know, it was never women. And I'm like, I know that there's women, but where are they? <laughs> so yeah. I, just, I came up with the brand um, Leading Ladies of Logistics, and I put it out there in hopes to attract other women. And that's exactly what happened. And I, I feel like I'm working with some of the best. I mean, um, it's four of us that are founders of this group, and we all bring something different. Um, and we all have made impact, and we've all helped other women um, be successful in this industry. 
I love it. And I love that, you know, it, it is more male dominated, but the fact that you guys are really pushing through, you're making your voice and you are really finding other empowering women and really helping elevate one another. Definitely. Absolutely. That's so important yeah. Um, for, yeah, sisterhood. Yeah. Exactly. And that's exactly what we're trying to build. Um, one thing is, you know, like when we came on social media, we would get into these different groups and, you know, just trucking groups, logistics groups. And it was just so much bullying. It was just the worst thing ever. You know, people would be new to the industry and they would come in and ask a question and people would literally bite their heads off. You know, like, why are you getting into the industry if you don't know the answer to that? And I just think it's, it's just terrible. Like, I get that everyone should not be in this industry and it's definitely not for everyone. But right. I'm like, we want to just create a safe space for women that they can feel comfortable asking questions, asking for help and not feel judged or bullied because of it. I love that. Yeah. And I was just going to ask what it's like being in a male dominated industry and how you can really, um, you know, make your voice heard. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We made our own table. We didn't get invited to a lot of tables. <laughs> so we built our own and the four of us, um, the founders of this group, like we all have tough skin. I mean, we really do. So for us being involved in a male dominated industry, we just want to show other women, like, don't let that stop you. I mean, we get a lot of respect and support from a lot of men in the industry, a lot of leaders. So, you know, we're just here to let people know that we are here. We're here to stay. We're here to help other women and <laughs> they can do the same thing as us. I love it so much. Yes. And so many people love you. You guys have so many people that are giving comments, how incredible you ladies are and how awesome you are. And they listen to everything that you say. We did have uh, someone that asked when your next broker course is. <laughs> so we actually, <laughs> I promise we get that question every day. <laughs> My partner, Samantha, that wasn't able to get on, unfortunately, um, we used to do the, in per the live in-person courses, which were really good, really interactive. Um, but when the COVID came out, we stopped. We put a, a halt on that and we went online. So we actually have the Freight Broker Portal. Um, it's a self that self paced course, excuse me, and um, it's still interactive. We have a Facebook group. So once they purchase the course, it's live video, well, videos of us that's been recorded, um, PDFs, downloadable PDFs, and a lot of information. But then they have a support group where they can connect with the other people that have taken the course. Very cool. But I will say that the live in person courses may be coming back really soon. <laughs> Exciting. I don't know why she said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you heard it here gonna, on Sam, Talk Sam Live. going to kill me. Sam, um, logistics <laughs> chick, she's going to kill me for saying that out loud. But um, <laughs> we know that everybody does not want an online course. The course is really good. It's very detailed. And we've had some really good success stories from the course. Um, but, you know, we're, we're thinking about bringing the live course back. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, someone asked if she could be part of the show, if he could be part of the show, age 40. <laughs> we have no age limit. <laughs> Absolutely. There is none. Age is just a number. Age is just a number. <laughs> it like, when it comes to this, we are the leading ladies, you know, and of course the name is not because we lead everything or we have the most loads, the most money, the most freight, but just because we operate with integrity, we want to really help people but we work with men and women. You know, our our organization is strictly for women and it's mostly made up of minority women, but we work with all women. Um, we have lots of women in our group of all different backgrounds and races. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to our training and our events, it's open. We, it's open. open. We welcome, welcome all the men. <laughs> nice, I love it. <laughs> and you guys are also, um, are all of you mothers or some of you? We are all, all mothers. All of us. <laughs> how, how do you do that congratulations Ooh. how do you do that and run a business and keep yourself so organized and together and just have everything all together <laughs> i mean that last part you just said all organized and all together is that what is that what you see when you look at this <laughs> we, we pray and drink a lot of wine <laughs> um, you know and and we get up early like you know you for me, I get up really early to avoid the distractions to be able to get, you know, so that I can get some things done, get me some me time. Um, it's really important for me to start my day with exercise because it's like, you know, that, that's like my energy to keep going and just playing and like, you know, trying to, I don't do it all the time, but when I do it works, um, yeah. you know, I plan my day 
the night before. And Tawana has um, made me a calendar junkie, so that has um, that that has helped me, you know, stay on track. But it's 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 all things moderation because it can get very consuming. You no, know, yes. each of us um, each of us have our own businesses, and we have this organization. You know, we're wives and mothers and friends, so it's it's about balance. So usually on Fridays we're off. <laughs> Fine, those I don't know about that Fine. part. <laughs> I'm going to um, take your inspiration and start using the calendar more. <laughs> Definitely. It works. Yeah. Tawana it's, is the calendar queen. I love it. I'm the organized one of the group. So it's, it's definitely a challenge, you know, because we have families and kids and yeah. our own businesses and things like that. So it's definitely a challenge. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, time management and just kind of like trying to organize your schedule and nice. give everybody a little peace. <laughs> Nice, it nice. is a little piece. <laughs> yeah, and like you said, you have multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's so amazing. it does get tough. You know, we don't want people to think that this is super easy. It's not. It, it's it's right. definitely been difficult. Um, we've been around for a long time, so you know we've gone through a lot of the things that um, we want to help people avoid. But it's not always easy. I mean, we still get on the phone and scream and curse and vent to each other about things that's going. <laughs> Um, I mean, that's that's just what it is. That's what real life and reality is for us. We do this every day, and we work a lot, and sometimes it's a strain on your family. So, you know, we like Vanessa said, we just try to keep the balance, you know, have some fun time, family time, and still get the work in and try to help other people as well. And I also want to add, so that's also a component, you know, of the Leading Ladies Logistics. Like, it's not just transportation. It's not just logistics. We're talking about the overall quality of life. You know, okay. for the woman. You know, we're going to talk about the health. We're going to talk about the wealth. We're going to talk about business. You know, we may drink a little wine. We may, you know, learn a new recipe. So it's more, it's, it's about, you yeah. know, helping women find the balance in it all while we, you know, trug our way through this male-dominated in industry. Exactly. I love that. I love the support system. And I love, um, you know, just finding that balance because that's a really hard thing to do is finding that balance is so key. Right. Absolutely. Definitely. We, we definitely encourage a balance amongst each other. You know, it's, it was hard for us to learn how to be like, hey, close your calendar off for a couple of days so you can breathe. Yeah. Um, but, but we're getting there. Yeah. I love it. You guys are my inspiration. Just, just I have a whole deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have uh, multiple businesses too. So it's like seeing all these roles that you fill and do and finding that balance and finding that getting organized and your support system is huge. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah. Definitely. Did you guys always know each other? How's your background of how you guys all met and how you guys connected? They were all strangers to me. I just met, I was just walking down the street <laughs> and they pulled up and they were like, hey, you're going to be a part of this group. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, nice. I kind of forced nice. my, my way into it. Um, same thing like Tristan said, when we came into the industry, we didn't really see people like us. So when I finally did see you know, other women in the industry, I reached out, I took um, Samantha and Tristan's um, broker course here in Atlanta. And after that, it was just like, okay, you're gonna be my mentor. And, you know, she kept telling me she didn't have time to mentor anybody that, you know, she didn't have time for it. Um, well, long story short, that didn't happen. We, <laughs> <laughs> I, pre I pretty much attached myself to her, um, you know, and from there it was just, you know, building a relationship, yeah. sharing information, and um, and then um, and then I met Vanessa. So um, it was nice. it's all kind of like a, a perfect intervention. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just a perfect fit. I mean, yeah. we just we we connected and we were a perfect fit for each other. I met mm -hmm. Samantha first. Vanessa and I actually live around the corner from each other, and I knew her husband for many years. We went to school together, and um, I met her at a, a brunch, and after hearing what she did, I'm like, oh, my God, I need her. I need her to <laughs> fix me, fix my business, <laughs> um, because she's the money girl. That's what we call yeah. her. Nice. And then, like nice. Tawana said, I met her in Atlanta during a class that Samantha and I had, and, you know, it, it was just the perfect fit, the four of us. I mean, we don't always agree. We get mad at each other for sure, but we definitely know how to work well together and we're still friends at the end of the day. So, you know, we can just let it roll off our shoulders and keep it moving. And I think I it's really that. important. I think it's really important that Tristan said that for everyone that's that's like looking because we've been told that we make it look so easy. It's a whole lot of hard work on the back end. 
And when we are having like our, you know, our brain dumping sessions, like, you know, we agree to disagree and move exactly. forward. So it's, it's not always easy, but it's worth right. it. Yeah. So, you know, I don't, we don't, we're not trying to paint like this perfect picture. Like, you know, they always flawless. They always out. I mean, we, we clean yeah. up well. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. And I That's love that huge... you share. It's hard yeah. work. It takes time. It takes yeah. communication. It takes, you know, being, listening to one another and working through whatever you're having to work through and then just moving forward. Absolutely. It's a huge misconception because people see us and like, oh my God, you guys have it all together. You guys have this and you have that. But, you know, we, we, we can't show everything <laughs> in the background <laughs> on Instagram and on social media. But, you know, we, we make it a point to be sure that everyone understands that transportation is not an easy field to get into and then sustain in it, you know, anyone can get in it, but it's just a matter of sustaining in it, growing your business and being able to give back and help others as well. Yeah, I love that you said that because I was going to ask, how do you stay current? <laughs> <laughs> Again, hard. Um, we, we, we take classes as well. We, we do education. We have mentors ourselves. Um, this definitely um, being a part of transportation is not one of those things that you decide that you're going to do by yourself. Um, there's always someone that's going to teach you something. There's always someone that has something that you may need or, you know, sharing and networking. Um, so being a part of transportation is definitely not something you just come in and you're like this loner. Um, you have to have a team. You have to, you know, reading current events, staying abreast of what's going on in transportation, not just in your one little, you know, part of the industry. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we take classes, we read, we have mentors. Um, we're, you know, we're really no different than anyone else getting into this industry. Exactly. And we connect. You know, we, we're, it's not just the four of us. We are the founders, right. but we have, like, I think about 13, 13 mentors, mentors just mm -hmm. in our group. And so mm -hmm. we hand selected these women based on their industry experience, their knowledge, the way that we've seen them help other people. And we feed off of them as well. We don't have all the answers and we don't pretend to have all the answers. Absolutely. It, it's, we're still growing and building. So we also, like she said, we have mentors and we also right. connect ourselves to other people that have had success. It's not just about us. I love that you said that to connect yourself with other people that have success. And I think that's why people love you guys so much too, is because you do share your knowledge and what you've learned, and then you still want to keep being better and pushing yourself. Yeah. Definitely. And we and share so real important. life stories. Like it's real. Like we, we say all the time, like coming into the industry the first time around for me and Tristan and Samantha, we both failed. We all failed in the industry the first time around. So it's about, you know, gaining that education and surrounding ourselves by the right people so yeah. that we can get back in the industry and do it right the, the first time. So it's, it's all real that, you know, what we do is not easy, but, you know, we try to make sure that everyone knows that, you know, we just didn't come in here and it was all cotton candy and rainbows. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I love that you guys did not quit. No, no. Wasn't the option. I, I left corporate America, so it was not an option. <laughs> it's it's like this. It's gonna work or it's gonna work. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> this I love was that. plan A, plan B, and plan C. It's, it's gonna, gonna work. work. <laughs> I love it. XO said I want a mentor. The Shantara said, uh, love you. You're saving people lives, giving opportunities. And then said the baddest logistics business women in America. That was Shantae. <laughs> so much love. Teamwork. Yes. We read the news. Awesome. <laughs> you know, I, I do want to add that when Tawana said, so for me, I didn't come in on the side where, um, you know, where I physically had a business into it and was able to, but it's that damage control because right now I feel like transportation is the new shiny object. Everybody okay. sees, oh, let me get in, let me yeah. get in, let me get in. Yeah. But you're forgetting, I mean, you're going to get the loads, you're going to buy the trucks, but there's, it's, there's so much um, financial liability that you tap into once you start purchasing this equipment and then you get into this business and you just really got to be prepared for it. No, I mean, and, and again, with it being, you know, the, the new shiny object, you can make a lot of money. You're going to pay taxes, baby. Yeah. We, we got we to gotta get those financials in order. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like they, they're laughing, right? So <laughs> a lot of people think that, um, like, again, we, we all kumbaya, but when it comes to their books and their numbers, I'm like, I'm like a kid off the street. You don't know me. I'm strict with you. I yeah. say what I got to say. Stop messing, stop messing this money up. And then we're like, let's go eat. 
I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You have to That's the answer down. to everything we do. Let's go eat. <laughs> yeah. That that really makes everything better every that makes time. Everything all better. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I love it. Yeah, and I love that you ladies are all having fun. Um, you know, with one another and with everything and with the people and still being very business oriented and very professional and very serious when it comes to the business side of it, but then still remembering your relationships and what you're there for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. I see yes. Sam in the I saw Miss Sam. I wish uh -huh. they would. Can, like, can she try again? Can she, can she try again to get on? I know. I know. It's not even letting oh, me really? have an option to even add anyone in. Mm. She can try to request me, and I can see if anything pops up. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, Instagram can be sassy. Yeah. So what exciting things do you guys have coming up for you? So November, the third annual Leading Ladies of Logistics Transportation and Networking Conference. It will be located in Atlanta, Georgia. We are super, super, super excited. Um, you know, unfortunately, we had to postpone it from April um, and push it, you know, push it back a little bit. But it was definitely, um, it was definitely something we needed to do to make sure that we could give um, the same caliber of an event that we did last year. Um, so we didn't want to do anything less. So it is in November here in Atlanta, and um, we're super excited. We have some amazing sponsors um, and some amazing panel members, and we're just ready to to bring it. Like, this event is going to be amazing. We're taking it up a notch. Definitely. <laughs> so if, if you missed the event in Atlanta this past November, yes. don't miss this one. We have, yes. some, like she said, awesome speakers, <laughs> awesome speakers. You yes. know, we wanted to, we had a lot of... Um, companies that reached out to us wanting to be sponsors right when they found out and it was like we can't leave all these people out like we, yeah. we have to postpone this so that we can get these um Not transportation industry you know specialists and these different yeah. companies that offer support services to the industry we yeah. needed them there as well so it, it was just the best decision to postpone it and nice. we really we want to thank everyone that still supported us and rocked with us, even though, you know, we had to change the location and do the postponement. You, you won't yes. be, you know, won't you, be disappointed. You, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> you, you just won't. You won't be disappointed. And, you know, and for everyone that even supported us when we decided to make the change, like, oh, I'm going to be there. Oh, I'm going to be there. We are, we're ready to see you yeah. all. Nice. There. And I just pinned the comment that um, Bashantara left with the Shantae. tickets. Shantae. <laughs> Shantae. <laughs> that Shantae left with the tickets because um, someone was asking when they can purchase tickets and where. Yeah. Yeah. So tickets will be available on our website, um, Leading Ladies of Logistics, within the next couple of weeks. We're just getting everything um, in order um, and getting the room block situated. So give us nice. a couple of weeks, check out the website, and you'll be able to purchase um, website and hotel books on the, on the website in a couple of weeks. Okay, and that's where they can register and everything. And events Definitely. that are coming up, Tawana has um, a dispatch class <laughs> that is coming up, and it's going to be in Charlotte. Nice. And, I mean, who knows? You know, there may be some cameos, you know? Some I Ooh, always yes. have cameos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it's, they come from. Just like the clear blue sky. All <laughs> the so you, I mean, you, you, you just, never know. You never know who's going to pop up there. And you just never know what's going to happen over the summer leading, you know, leading <laughs> up to the event. You know, you might see our four of us pop up in the city near you. <laughs> in the city near you. <laughs> yes, definitely if they're in the, the Charlotte area, um, what is it, April 30th? April um, in okay. Charlotte. The last Friday. Um, the Friday. The last Friday of um, nice. April. Um, it'll definitely be a um, different dispatch training, um, but you, you, it's going to be great. We're going to have some great um, guests. Um, of course, Innovative Logistics, Adam Wingfield will be there. I'm super excited about that and of course um, the leading ladies will be there as well so super excited so if you're in Charlotte check out goldstylogisticsgroup.com for the few tickets that are left Ooh, <laughs> nice exciting yes and I feel so bad that we couldn't get all four and I love what Shantae said. Uh, Lord, I command Instagram to let Sam in. I, know, I can't even uh, request. I'm so sorry. Instagram is not even letting me like even touch any buttons to even request anyone to come in. So weird. Someone sure asked, the, is the info you. on your site? Yes, at goldstarlogisticsgroup.com. That's where they can find the information about the Charlotte 
um, yes. success training that's coming up. Definitely. Yes, and we will have you um, tagged. I will uh, tag you after I get done with the live and they can follow you and find you on our Sheen page. Yay. Somebody from Paris, France. Wow. I love it. I Paris, love France, it. right? Right. Do they have some freight they need moved in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> like air freight, sea freight. <laughs> so where are you guys? You guys are pretty much covering a lot of areas, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, with um with my dispatch company, we definitely cover um worldwide. We have clients all over nice. Texas, Atlanta, all type of um you know equipments nice. that we cover. Um, same thing with uh with uh Samantha. Samantha and her husband run um reefer trucks, um which are refrigerated trucks, and um you know they they cover all bases as well. So wow. we're all over. We don't discriminate when it comes to clients. Um, well we we discriminate a little bit. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Pay your bills, pay your bills, pay your bills. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that pay their bills. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely, um, we have clients all over. Awesome. Do you guys offer any other courses and transportation besides the broker course? So right now, it's just the dispatch course yeah. and the mm -hmm. broker course. Yeah, so we have my dispatch training and then um, the broker course, which apparently is coming back live. Um, <laughs> I heard it here. Within, within Leading Ladies, we have the mentorship. And again, it's not always just about transportation. It's about self-care and, you know, communication, organization, and just um, just trying to be like all around person when it comes to our mentorship. So. Um, and we see our friend She Trucking is in the building too. I so should. she actually has a CDL um, mentorship program where people can actually get their yes. CDL permit through her in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Oh. And she has an awesome organization too with um, thousands of women, female That's trust survivors. Right. Over 10,000? Yes. Yeah, I think so it's more than that. But yeah, she has an amazing um, event cool. coming up September in Chattanooga, Tennessee as well. Um, again, yes. Chattanooga and the leading ladies will be there. there. Yeah, Woo so exciting. Was yeah. there anything else that you guys wanted to tell the viewers? Yeah, let's let Vanessa tell them about their money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell, tell them anything about the, the biggest thing about this and the money is, listen, you're tapping into an industry where the income potential is limitless. Protect your business, protect your finances. Um, I get this all the time. Well, I shouldn't have to pay taxes. Listen, stop it. The only way you don't pay taxes <laughs> is if you plan for it or you don't have a profit, right? And we're not in business to, you know, to not make a profit. Um, the only other thing that I would like to add is th it, this group is really unique. When I say it's unique, it's like not only are there some courses, but everyone comes with like a different background. So not only do I have the financial background, I also have the intermodal, the drage background in trucking. You know, Sam and Tristan are with the freight broker, and Sam has the reefer, and, nice. you know, and Tawana with dispatch. And so I see us somewhere running our own, like, Fortune 500 company because we have all these, you know, all these backgrounds. <laughs> yeah. So when people come to us, like, when, you know, the ladies in the group, like, we are, we're between us, our knowledge is expanded. Um, yeah. in the industry, our network is, I'm going to say at this point, is limitless for us yeah. to be able to reach out and get information that's needed and to be able to bring those people in to our to our group, to the people that are in our group, bring those people into them. So it's a, it's a really great place to be. And for women, listen, like, we, we got our super cake. We, we got this. Yeah, definitely. If, we, we got this. We can run this. I well, love we, it. Well, actually, we are running it. So let's just, you know, <laughs> we're, we're running. Right? <laughs> oh, and for people that were still asking about courses, um, you know, we have resources. So what we don't offer is within our network. So like if someone wants to buy a truck and get their truck on the road, our friend Alex from Good Energy has an awesome trucking portal for that specific reason. So if we don't specifically offer it, we definitely have a network of people that offer um, what's needed. So, right. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Well, it has been such a pleasure, ladies, and so much fun. And you have just given so much knowledge. And um, hopefully, everyone's gotten all their questions answered and they can find your information on our page. And I am so sorry we didn't get all of you on, but it was so no. much fun. Hey, well, you have to have that. us back. You have to have us back before the event then. So we can <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I love it. So many good things you guys heard here on Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> We're super excited. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you so much. And Sheen Magazine has so much love for all of you guys.
Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate yes, it. thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching Sheen Magazine, Sheen Talk Live. My name is Jacqueline Valdez. Thank you. Take care. All right. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>